Uh, Shabbat Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word, truth, and sincerity, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered in the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truth, and sincerity as well, too, and I say Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, and this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 7, and this is a uh, title of a lesson of uh, Luke, chapter 21, verse 7 through verse 11 and it reads start at verse 7 Luke chapter 21 and verse 7 and it reads to the Holy Scriptures and they asked him saying master but when shall uh, shall these things be and that's the uh, this is a uh, cross reference uh, precept to uh Matthews uh, 24 and verse 3, I believe. Yeah, Matthews 24 and verse 3. And this is uh, Luke uh, 21 and verse 7. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And these are the, the, these are the disciples that uh, actually have a shot. That's a question when they had a uh, private meeting with the disciples. And what shall I mean what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass and you have a shy which is our Lord and our Savior he replied to the disciples it says uh, Luke 21 and verse 8 and he said take heed that ye be not deceived for many shall come in my name saying I am Hamashiach and Abishai the time draw near Go ye not therefore after them. Right, and that's following the uh, false false prophets and false teachers. So as us being the children of Israel, we gotta uh, follow the ways of the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten Son, Yahweh and the correct sound doctrine of the Holy Scriptures. Like the scripture says, uh, show thy uh, study to show thy stuff approved. And uh, through precepts, I get understanding. Uh, Revelations 1 and 3. Blessed he that readeth, you know, those are prime examples. And uh, definitely, you know, it's going to be uh, wise and false prophets and false teachings. And we definitely don't want, we definitely don't uh, want, uh, we definitely don't uh, want to be tossed to and fro of different winds of doctrine, you know. So we want to stay in the uh, correct path of the, the uh, true understandings of the Holy Scriptures. By the heavenly father, how is only got to say, Yahweh Shah. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 9, and it reads the Holy Scriptures. But when ye shall hear of wars and rope on the Salaki, read that again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 9, and it reads the Holy Scriptures. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by anybody. Right, so we're going to hear a lot of increasing of these uh, wars and commotions that's taking place in the world today. The uh, one armies of nations whereas up against one another, one nation rising up against another nation. And that's what we're seeing taking place and this was going to occur in these times. And that's been recorded in the Holy Scripture said these things was going to happen in, in, in these times, you know. So, you know, we cannot be uh, terrified of these uh, signs. It's gonna, you know, come to pass, and it's, and it's, it was prophesied for these times was gonna occur. You know, and these prophecies are gonna come to pass. You know, and we are definitely living in those times of these prophecies being fulfilled. You know, so I'm gonna read it again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is by but the end is not by end by. And this is the book of Luke. And this is as it says right there, things to things to come. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 10, and it reads the Holy Scriptures. Then say he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Right? One nation rising up against another nation. One nation of armies rising up against another nation of armies. 
when different kingdoms rising up against another kingdom. And that's what we're seeing taking place in the world today. And that's why we're taking heed to the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai and taking heed to the uh, true understanding and the sound doctrines of the Holy Scriptures and by Yahweh Shemel Shai as well, too. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall that be from heaven. Right, so we're going to see these increasing of these uh, great earthquakes in diverse places. A high increasing, high magnitude of these earthquakes in diverse places that we've been seeing taking place. And we've definitely been seeing a large amount of increasing of these earthquakes in diverse places in the year 2023. And we're going to continue to see that increasing. And famines, right, we're going to see the famines going to increase in these times as well too. And pestilence, right. The famine, pestilence, the plagues are only going to increase. Fearful sights and great signs shall that be from heaven. Right, fearful sights and great signs shall that be from heaven is going to increase in the latter days as well too, because these are increasing of the signs of the times. That's why we are measuring the time diligently in itself and discerning the times of what times that we're living in. You know, so with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying. And the title of the lesson was the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 7 through verse 11. So hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying. So with that, Shabbat Shalom. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shad Bahashem, Akakadash. Uh, shalom to the uh, elders for personal worship and sincerity. And Shalom to the uh, Aki, scattered the four corners of the globe, personal worship and sincerity as well, too. Until next time, I will say Shabbat Shalom.